Yeah, I got the shot. That's why I'm the best cameraman right here. Okay, I really can't go off of that. So, I guess that one's good. <laughs> this one's gotta come all the way. Good? Yeah. Come my way, like half inch. Okay, I'm good. Okay. Yep. Go. Action. You said they were just temporary, right? Sorta. Of. Sorta. Of. I just figure they're temporary because everything I build is <laughs> do it twice. Done Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> you good? I'm good. You in? Are you yeah, good? I'm in. I got like a half inch on this side. I'm tight on this side. I can do nothing with this foot. Can hold it, and then we got to get the other ladder in here again. You got it? Oh. <laughs> Don't let go until he says yes. Well, um, I got a half inch on this side, on the outside. Sticking out with yours? I'm, I'm tight. So just push it this way, so it's tight. Okay. All right. You got a hold of it? Yeah, I'm good. Okay, go ahead. So now you should be able to measure four feet. What do you mean? You should be able to measure four feet for the other truss, and then put oh. a screw in. Okay. You hold the ladder? I'd love to hold the ladder. You just stole my spotlight. Oh, did you want to do it? Yeah. Okay, okay. Come on up there. Everything can be edited. Are you on the wrong side? <laughs> no, I don't think so. Why would I be on the wrong side? I don't know. Oh, now we gotta go way over. Four foot's the other side of here. One more? We should be on the outside, huh?
going to hit. No. Okay. Now you might want to slide it back the other way. I don't yep. know. Okay. You good? Yep. Devin, you good? Yeah, ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> We're gonna hit. Fuck. We're hitting. I'll hold it so you guys slide it your way. Um, your way, Dad. No, sorry, your way, Barry. You need to go almost. Almost. Uh oh. No. No. You're gonna have to pick it up, Devin. Out of the notch. Are you sure? Yeah. All right. Well, I'm out. Okay. A uh, uh, little, little bit more. Yeah. Okay, I'm out. Okay. Oh. Now you can go up and then slide it in. Oh. There you go. That easy. Uh -huh. Okay. Put another screw in there. Put two in there, and then I'm gonna hand you another board. Yep. Oh. We're filming, Devin. No pressure. Zipper down. Damn it. We put him up top because not only is he the tallest, but he's got the biggest platform. Those those feet. They're massive. this time so how much gap did we have last time that half inch again three quarter because we had a half inch on my side and you let's just quarter. do two and three quarter well just put, put it on three and then just short your line to two and three quarter okay. got it yep. a lot more space on that phone Then you take this precision tool. Precision. Precision. Oh, yeah. I like that. What do you want? Ain't going nowhere. Ain't going nowhere. Hey, we got that. One day. Just, just the roof. Trusses, but we're not carpenters. Cool. Cool beans. Looks good. Time to get paid. All right. Yeah, then we'll be able to see it. We're putting the purlings on for the tin. How you feeling up there?
Ooh, can't put that on camera now. That saying, fine. Rob Peter to take Paul. I like that one. Very tough. Very tough. Yeah, yeah. I never heard that one.
you'll have to hand it to me through here. Through there. Yeah. Well, I don't think he's answering me. I mean, they're going to rip the crotch out or shit in there. <laughs> Tell me when the center of the cap is centered on the center of the peak, right? Okay. Of the truss. Yep. You also have to tell me that quarter inch thing. Yep, you can go your way six inches. Well, here's the aftermath of doing one of those. Luckily, I didn't cut an artery or something. Like, honey, check my balls. That's only one piece. I got two more. Horrible. What you doing, dear? Just spread the gravel. We just got to level out the uh, pad here so when it rains on the side, it doesn't, I guess, collect underneath. So just get it a little higher mm -hmm. than the surrounding area. And then we can park our van in here, which is the reason we built the building. And then uh, next winter I can build that van, start building the van and do something cool. So got the roof done today. For the most part, I got a couple screws left to put in. And then you can see all the yeah, black flags. Lots of friends. Getting all them. Ouch. Trying to bite too. So I got one more load to grab with the tractor.
So now it's uh, about 95% complete. Um, I didn't want to wait till it's 100% complete because I never finished my project, so I'd never get the video out. But um, we got the front sided. I have to clean this up. I, I don't know how I'm going to cut this. I might do like a some type of an arch. Um, that would look cool. We also have to do the back. I have to do the back uh, siding also. And then in the future, I'm probably going to do a shed roof off of here because uh, ah, we still need more storage. And uh, on the walls, um, instead of building walls and milling up like eight logs to do a bunch of batten or uh, boards, uh, vertical boards, like, you know, like that type of thing here, I just uh, opted to put, you know, I cut up probably two logs and did two by sixes. Um, double so there's two here and two here and that makes a spot for all this wood you can stack it and it stays stable like if i was to stack that and not have that uh, cross hatching um it would be it would topple pretty much um and also it obviously adds strength which it would need um if i was going to do vertical siding i would have to have nailers and all that stuff it would it'd use a bunch of wood um and this serves the same purpose keeps the snowing or blowing snow and rain out um, the majority of the year until you start using the wood. But again, it's not a big deal um, if I get some blowing snow in here and it dries wood out really well. So I still have to put a center post in here because I can't do cross hatching there. That's over 20 feet wide and I just don't have the capability to mill that long of lumber. So I'm gonna put a center post in here and then do cross hatches on both of those, and then I'll have that back full of wood too. It's quite a bit of wood in here, you know, when you're all said and done. And then I, this is where I'm uh, housing my canoes. So I don't have all of them up there yet, but uh, that's the system. I just bought these cheap hanger things. Uh, they're like, I don't know, less than $30. And then uh, put like three foot boards on them so I can stick my canoes on there. Is it perfect? No, I have to move everything to get the canoe down. So it's not optimal, but it's better than um, building something else for my canoes, um, which is what I would have to do. There's no place um, where I can put them under cover and have them against like a wall and, and stack them like that with uh, horizontal boards that come in that support the canoe. I just don't have that right now. So it's not great that I have to move this stuff to grab them, but, um, you know, it, they're totally out of the way and not uh, taking up any room. So as long as a red squirrel doesn't uh, chew on one of the ropes and I don't have to declare war, um, this should work. Got our van in here, just fits. And uh, once we get the, the uh, well, you can't see it now. These are going to be um, greenhouse windows and stuff. So once those are out of there, then I can actually fit a, a big tractor in here. And possibly my wife's smaller car. So that would be nice. But uh, it's protecting the van. So I'm happy with that and drying wood out and housing all my canoes. and So it's working good. We may have went a little tall, but I had to get the canoes up and over the air conditioner when we get the air conditioner installed in the van. And uh, also, the uh, it worked out where the spacing of the trusses was correct to uh, pull these canoes up between the trusses, as you can see. And then they come down and get tied off here. But I got my snowblower in here and the, the old Ford and uh, lawn tractor, so. So that is good. So I'm happy with it. Now we got uh, one more build building to house some more crap. A little bit at a time, it's coming along. I got a, a large parking area now. So that's good. And my next video, or one soon, will be the building 
continuing of this, which is, that's about 95% um, complete too, which um, 95 for everybody else is 100 for me. So I'm gonna call it 100% complete. And we've done some landscaping. So probably next week, we're going to start the interior of the cordwood now. It's gonna be July. So we're a little behind, but um, hopefully that will, we don't have too much more to do. We have five walls with large windows in, in the walls. So um, windows do slow you down, but it's, it's also less wall space that you have to do. So it kind of evens out. Hopefully we get this all done by September. Um, today and for the next few days, we have to grab rock from the woods and we are going to line different areas, uh, make like little rock walls, these little res raised bed, flower beds and stuff, plant some um, trees and bushes and stuff. It's rained every day for the last, um, well, since winter. So... It's, it's been tough going to get stuff done. We're also clearing out trees and stuff to make more of a yard also. And uh, less places for mosquitoes. So cutting a lot of wood too. That's uh, six rows deep. So in a couple years, that'll be dry. Won't use it this winter, it'll be the next. <laughs> 